Okay, so the game's turning around quite quickly from you. Yeah. Tuesday night, obviously, very, very disappointing. But it's only a few days to, to be able to write that and put it back into place, get yes. the, the wins back on the board. Yeah, I mean, you know, we were sat here on, on Monday, weren't we, talking about a great win at, uh, at Hamilton. So we we understand how quickly it can change. So it's up to us to, you know, uh, really go and have a good go on Saturday and get people to smile on faces by putting the performance and getting the result. Looking at the performance on Tuesday night, do you feel that there were particular areas that you need to, to look at in more detail or do you just think it was a bad day at the office on Tuesday? No, no, I don't think it was um, It's that. I think we've identified um, areas that we feel obviously we, we can get better. Uh, I think there's also a, a case of you all, when you suffer a defeat you always look at the goals conceded but the numerous chances that we created, second half especially, um, it just shows you that we have to be better in both boxes, not just the, the, from our defensive point of view. You know, if, like I've said there, if we can take a couple of our chances when we had them, and you know, and that changes the game, obviously. Although it's important to reflect upon what's happened in the past with the previous game's results, the importance, obviously, of staying focused on where you want to be and looking towards that next game must be more important than reflecting back. No, I think it's. Uh, I think both of them are just as important. You know, if you don't reflect and try and learn from what's gone off previously, how can you then move forward into the next game? And that's exactly what we've done. We've looked at um, areas that we feel we can improve on, and then, like I say, we're looking at our growth and looking at ways in which you know we know we're going to have to stop them in certain areas, but. We also feel that we can exploit some of their areas as well, so it's a case of both. Can you expect different conditions when you head up the coast? That are both always. Uh, I've a been made aware. I've been made aware, but um, they said the same to me about Cove for the other night, and we had a, a very still night. So, yeah, listen, it'll be what it'll be, and both teams have to deal with that. Well, looking at the teams, what's the team news for the weekend? Um, we haven't picked up any injuries. We had to be careful with. Um, Jordan Marshall over the last couple of games, um, so he had a bit of a knock. Um, but you know, with the way that we've looked after him means that he's fully fit now and, fit and available. Um, and everybody else is, is fit and ready to go. So yeah. One, one last one for me. It's an reflection to the uh, quarter to one kickoffs that the league are also yeah. looking at. What, what's your viewpoint on that? And how do you see that fitting in with, with what happens here? Um, I, I understand it. I think, you know, obviously if that is what um, gets decided, I think I totally understand the reasons for that. Um, you know, it's uh, it's not just um, football clubs, it's people up and down the country, isn't it? And so, you know, um, if, if they make that decision, then we will go with it and totally respect it and, and like I say, understand it. Okay, looking at the way the fixers have run, four away games were never ever going to be an easy task. Mm -hmm. To get four victories was going to be really, really tough. So maybe, as I say, the, the, the game during the week there was, was the wake-up call that was needed. But how important is it to get back to winning ways to make that three out of four away victories, obviously, this weekend? Aye, we, we knew that uh, when that first away game came. Like, or we knew the run we were going to come was like three... I think three out of four in Marastro as well, so we know they're all t going to be tough. And uh, I just think that even even the game Tuesday, you're right, it is a wake up call. But I think sometimes there's a way to get beat, and as a and when you go places like that, it's sometimes you just got to bite your bullet and go right. We'll go for a draw. We need to try to get a draw here. When you go to one, you need to try to get a draw and get going away to Cove and even our broths and getting draws. You look back at the end of the season, you go that draw made you win a league, that draw made you get a playoff spot or that, it just the wee points matter and I think just now that's our biggest problem is the games that we've been ahead or the games that we've kind of controlled, we've let slip and it's been, a, it's ended up going away for us, so I think for now, hope, I'm, I don't know if other people say that after defeat but I'm just hope, praying and hoping now that this is the way it's going to kick on and we learn for Tuesday and realise how bad it was and just learn for it and move, move on. Moving up to Arbroath on Saturday, obviously, the, the conditions that will be up there, you mentioned about the wind and, and the surface and, and all things that, that happen there, sometimes that can come as an advantage to you because of the you know, the, the adaptations you're having to make to play on all these different surfaces. And also, I think sometimes like when you go places like that, 
you put in your head that if football's not going to be pretty, so you put in your mindset that you're going to have to run harder than what your teammate is, or, uh, or what your opponent is, sorry. Uh, you're going to have to win that extra header, you're going to have to like just clear the ball further than what you've ever cleared the ball. Like You're just going to do certain things like that, whereas you, maybe Cove on, on Tuesday, I think in our head we thought it was might have been a prettier game than what it was, and it turned out not to be, and they made it hard, and I just think our both are going to do the same, and I think sometimes when you go, to, as you said, when you go to a broth and you're up with the elements and pitches and it's a leveller, but it's a leveller sometimes in a good way that everybody just sticks in and, and mix together. Do you feel sometimes being one of the favourites for the league sometimes puts your head above the parapet and it's everybody else is trying to shoot you down? Sometimes, I think, personally speaking, when I was at air and we played Dundee, that was the biggest thing was, and I've said that, I've said that to boys in the changing room, like using boys that have obviously been at Dundee for longer than what I have, when you come up against people that are part-time and you come up against people that are probably on less money than what we're on, they are going to be in that changing room with an incentive to take that off of you. And we need to realise that that's bigger than anything. That is a bigger motivation than anything. If they've, they they think that they're better than you and they deserve to be on better money, get away from their part-time job, then that is bigger than us just showing up and thinking it's going to be a good game or enjoy try and enjoy the game. We need to have that motivation that they've got. We need to have a bigger motivation than what they've got. Do you think that what happened on Tuesday, some of what you've just spoken about, might rub off on Dundee saying, well, we are better than we were on Tuesday and we need to get a better result against Arbro? I think that's I, I think that's now, now that how many times probably some players have watched it back, especially even myself with not any play, but I, you watch it back and I think that's one thing Cove had on us on Tuesday that I'm hoping that we learn for was they just looked motivated more. I would say, like, they looked setting balls, all that kind of stuff, like, headers here and there, I just felt that they had more of it, so I think come Saturday, that's the one thing that we, if we shoot ten times, miss ten times, then I'll go right fair dues, but if we lose ten headers after speaking about what we've just done on Tuesday, then that's when you'll be disappointed, because you've just came for a game that has been the same that it will be on Saturday, so if we don't learn for them, then we've, then we've got no chance. But this is the point that we need to make this week, that we need to move on and we need to learn for them and hopefully use them in the right way.